once again, people should actually, in fact, stop leaning upon their own understanding. If the gospel suggests that we are to hate the very sins of man and woman, and we are also to hate the way that we are treated, then we should actually start applying as to what the gospel teaches us to do, rather than the voice of the world teaches people to do. I see so many comments online going, oh, you must love more, you must have compassion, you must do this, you must do that, you must have all of these things. The question I ask on to each and every one of you is this, are you really a chosen one? Because even the devil knows the Bible, even the devil can cherry pick the Bible and what verses to give people when it comes down to convincing people they're living for God when in actuality in reality they never were and never have been like I said I know the devil all too well and I know every single tactic that he uses when it comes down to deceiving the very people of God himself so once again people stop leaning upon your own understanding because there is a judgment day and besides compassion being good or nice and all of these other things, nurturing, they're all linked to femininity, but yet you've got women that are trying to convince us men we're to be all these things. Yeah, all right then. And Look at the mess that we have with the whole dating market and the marriage market when involving both sexes, because women are teaching men this horse shit they're teaching men to be feminine, and is there any wonder why there's a big crash going on, and each and every one of you type of women are left on your own? Because you are doing a disservice unto God himself by brainwashing the male species into believing that they must be compassionate, they must be unconditionally loving, these soft-ass girls for boys. You are doing a disservice unto God himself. And why do I say that? Because technically speaking, you are denying the male species their masculinity by teaching them to reside within their feminine, uh, feminine frame. And those of you could laugh and joke about it now, thinking that you're actually winning in life and that you're doing everything by the book, the gospel, Book, but in actuality you are not you are doing a disservice by teaching guys to reside within their feminine frame and yet when you bag said type of man within your life you're not even attracted to him even be uh, behind the fake kind of attraction you're not attracted to him and don't even come at me with your bullshit, because I will tear you a new one with sound biblical truth. Fellas, if you had a conscience along with common sense, you'd know I'm speaking the truth, right? Think about it. Nurturing. Gentleness. Meekness. Compassion. Unconditional forgiving. Uh, forgiveness, even. And all of these other things. They are linked to femininity, aren't they not? Of course they are. Think about it. Let's say you guys are having a hard, stressful day, you know, and you're happy to be back from work, yeah? And you so happen to meet your wife for the first time after that stressful day. And you happen to see the empathy, the compassion that she displays and all of these things. Well, there you go. Because she's acting feminine, for one. And she's also knowing her role. But yet this backward-ass clown world is trying to convince us men we're to be de these things. And it's messed up. This is why us men are choosing to remain single. Because there is a war going on 
upon the male's masculinity. And I do not take kindly to that. And I will continue to expose it until the cows come home. And I will begin to royally piss those off that lean upon their own understanding. By continuously exposing it and bringing it to light. So once again, to you women, get off your high horse. Stop leaning upon your own understanding. And start applying the gospel to your lives. And quit denying the male species their masculinity. Otherwise, there is going to be a war upon each and every one of you that even try to deceive the male species. Because I will cause a war. I will cause a war upon each and every one of you. And I will make your lives a living hell. That every time you see me, uh, see me in person, even just for a brief encounter, you're going to try everything within your book to actually avoid me. Because I have the power, I have the control, I have the authority. While the guys out there are unable to think and live for themselves, are actually too much of a pussy to speak up against this nonsense, I'm not. And I will continue to speak up against it until my last dying day on earth. To you guys out there following this narrative, believing the words of these said women, quit while you're ahead. Because they are denying you your masculinity. They are denying you your masculinity by te uh, teaching you to reside within your feminine frame. And is there any wonder, like I said, you guys get frustrated and angry because you're believing everything these dumbasses actually tell you rather than develop the spiritual discernment to go ah well okay maybe I was a bit slow on picking that up but now I'm beginning to realize it I can actually stop believing what these said clowns actually say and start applying the gospel to my life therefore I am going to win regardless the outcome it is what it is. So once again to you women. Quit leaning upon your own understanding. You're not remotely funny. You're doing a disservice unto God himself. As a matter of fact, you're doing a disservice unto each and every one of yourselves. Because like I said, you feminine, uh, you feminized guys, right? You claim to find said guys attractive. When in actuality and reality, you never did. And don't even think for one minute that your fake, you know, nice and fake good approaches towards this matter are going to convince me otherwise, because I see through the bullshit. I see through it. And I so happen to understand female psychology better than females could ever understand themselves. And this is why, like I said, I piss a lot of women off. Because no matter how much they try to play game on me, I will always bounce back and play the uni reverse card until they rage quit. It is what it is. There's just no amount of fooling this guy, you know. No matter how hard you try to convince yourselves you're fooling this guy, you're not. You never have been and you never will be. Real talk. Because I happen to be spiritually switched on. I happen to know the sound biblical truth. The problem with today's society is that you've got women that are acting more masculine by teaching said guys, you know, this softer side. You're technically speaking, or should I say you have women even brainwashing guys to display these um, said softer sides as you will and what happens usually when a guy does that is the same with pouring out his feelings and emotions towards a woman what happens when they do that um, the woman gets repelled for one and once again don't even come at me with your bullshit because I will quite literally tear you a new one and I will leave you looking like an absolute fool for trying to intellectually underestimate me with sound gospel truth. When a guy uses his feelings and emotions 
and projects them upon a woman. And once a guy starts displaying these said, uh, you know, soft kind of tendencies, as you will, he's acting feminine. And this is why the dynamic of masculine woman and feminine man doesn't last. While it lasts temporarily, it doesn't last permanently. Why? Um, well, that's an easy question. Because it was the man that is created to be the head of the marriage. It is the man that was created to be the head of his wife. And not the tails. We are the leaders. We are the breadwinners. We are the prize. As a matter of fact, we are the alphas and amigas, but yet you've got these dumbass clown women out there, you know, convincing themselves that they are the alphas. There's no such thing as an alpha woman. You're in denial of the truth. You're in denial of the truth. And it's the same with you, oh yes, well, I'm this boss babe, and, you know, I go around, you know, doing these things, I don't need no man, and all of this bullshit, yeah? And how's that beginning to, you know, go down for each and every one of you at the minute, then? Not so well, is it? Because I see just how crushed and defeated a lot of you are. Why? Because a lot of you reside within your feelings and emotions. Because the world, like I said, is beginning to prove too much for you. And rightfully so. This is what happens when you go around acting like a fucking man. If you go in to act like a man, we are going to treat you like one. Consider, consider it our way of humbling you. It is what it is. So, to you guys out there, don't pay attention to these women that go around claiming that you must be soft, you must be compassionate, you must be unconditionally loving and you must be nice, you must be good and all of these things, yeah, good luck, you know, trying to get a feminine woman displaying all of these things, including projecting one's feelings and emotions onto said woman, good luck trying to get a feminine woman out there, why, well, go back to what I just said in the video, you're acting feminine, and in order to attract a feminine woman, you're not going to do that by acting like a woman yourself. You're going to repel said feminine woman by acting like a woman in the first place. You might attract a masculine woman. But these dynamics don't last. They're temporary. So once again, for the last and final time, to you women, quit leaning upon your own understanding you know, and quit with the bullshit. Because you're not fooling me. I happen to be switched on in human psychology and I can understand humans better than they can understand themselves. And if the gospel clearly says that us men are to be strong and stoic, we are to be alphas and amigas, heads of the marriage, then I'm going to go with what the gospel says. I always am going to go with what the gospel says, rather than take man and woman's word. Because you're a bunch of wolves in sheep's clothing, you have no idea as to what you're talking about. I would understand if you actually said all of these things to your women, friends as you will, then you would be doing a service, because you're teaching said masculine woman out there to be feminine. I can work with that. You get a thumbs up for doing the work of God. But when you're trying to convince the men into displaying these things, I'm not going to tolerate that. Because you are doing a disservice by lying and denying the male species their masculinity. I will, however, expose it and bring it to light ruthlessly every time I see a post that's actually shared upon the male species to develop these said characteristics and personas, I will continue to expose it and I will royally piss each and every one of you off however many folds over 
by sharing your nonsense in the first place. Because like I said, you're doing a disservice. And this shit has to stop. By all means, you know, share all of these things with your masculine women friends. I can work with that. You're doing a service unto God. And you will be rewarded greatly for actually speaking the truth towards your women friends. But when it comes down to the men, quit while you're ahead. It is what it is.